Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Nick Meckin here with Pick Dogs. Today is January 18, 2024, and I'll be covering the NBA first half this season. Remember, on this show, all we care about is the first and the second quarter. That is it. If I do not say the spread in the play, the bet will always lay a money line bet. But before I get into my free plays, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're looking for my top plays, head on over to PickDogs.com and check out the Premium Picks tab. That's where you'll find my top play for just $20. And best of all, all of our daily packages come with credit guarantees. You can read more about this on our website under any daily package we cappers have to offer. Now, yesterday, going one and one, we hit big with the Cleveland Cavaliers getting the job done in the first half against the Milwaukee Bucks. The Utah Jazz and the Golden State Warriors ended up getting um, postponed due to weather in Utah. And then the Miami Heat, uh, I don't think they knew that they had a game um, here um, tonight. Uh, it was a bad start for this Heat team against Toronto. Toronto Raptors absolutely blew them out of the water in the first half and the whole game. Um, it's alright. We'll shake that one off. We're 1-1 one and one looking for another sweep here. We had a sweep on Tuesday. I love everybody that hopped in the comments. You know I like those money bags, so drop the money bags when we get a clean sweep. Let's roll right into Thursday's games here, ladies and gentlemen. Game number one, we got the Chicago Bulls and the Toronto Raptors. Right now, the Chicago Bulls are coming in 19 and 23, 6 and 13 on the road. Clearly struggling here on the road. 5 and 5 in their last 10 games. Just coming off a loss to the Cleveland Cavaliers, 109 to 91. They'll be matched up here in Toronto against the Raptors, who boy just blew out this Miami Heat team at home. Uh, 15 and 25 this season, 9 and 10. They will be 10. 10 and 10 after this game finishes here later tonight at home. 500 at home. Um, they are 4 and 6 in their last 10 games, including their win um, here tonight against the Miami Heat. They are on a four game losing streak. They just snapped that one against the Heat um, in their previous game. Um, not the Heat, but they dropped their last one to the Celtics 105 to 96. Um, I'm expecting that this Raptors team does exactly what they did here against the Miami Heat. They're going to have no travel here. Um, they're back at home. They don't got to travel. The Bulls come into town. The Bulls clearly struggle on the road. I like the Toronto Raptors here again in tonight's matchup here in the first half. That's why in game number one between the Chicago Bulls and the Toronto Raptors, we're going with the Raptors first half. Let's roll into game number two between the Oklahoma City Thunder and the Utah Jazz. Hopefully the Jazz will be able to play this game here tonight. Their, Oklahoma City is coming into this matchup 27 and 13, 11 and 8 on the road. Three games here above 500, 6 and 4 in their last 10 games on a two-game winning streak. Rolling into this one, um, just beating the Clippers 128 to um, 117. I'm sorry, the Oklahoma City Thunder are on a two-game losing streak, just dropping to the Clippers 128 to 117. Then they'll be matched up here against a powerhouse in the Utah Jazz team as of late, 22 and 20, 15 and 5, 10 games above 500, 9 and 1 in their last 10 games played um, on a six-game winning streak. Here they're fresh. They clearly didn't play last night. Um, they're rolling into this one. We'll see if this game is played here in Utah. Um, I'm edging more towards this Utah Jazz team. They're on a six-game winning streak here. It's snowy. It's cold in Utah. These Oklahoma City boys are going to come into town, and it's going to be a blizzard out. Give me the Utah Jazz in the first half in game number two versus the Oklahoma City Thunder. Then let's roll into our third and final game between the Indiana Pacers and the Sacramento Kings. Right now, the Pacers are coming in 20. 25 and 17, 13 and 7, five games here above 500 on the road. Five and five in their last 10 games on a three-game losing streak, though. Just dropping to the Utah Jazz 130, 2 to 106. Some key injuries: Tyrese and Bryce Brown will be out in tonight's matchup. Here, uh, they'll be headed to Sacramento, where the Kings are 23 and 17. 13 and 7, six games here above 500 at home, 5 and 5 in their last 10 games on a three game losing streak, though. Um, and I will say the Sacramento Kings team let the past two games slip right through their fingers against the Bucks and then um, their last game against the Suns, losing that one 119 to 117. I think we could take advantage of the line here. Uh, the Kings right now, the opening line in this game is a plus eight and a half for the Kings. Right now in the first half, I'm seeing a lot of plus four and a halves and a lot of plus five um, for these Indiana Pacers team who, granted, 
are first in all of NBA in points per game. I get that their key players, two key players, are out in this matchup, but their pace of play isn't going to slow down. I think that we could take advantage of this line here, especially at a plus five in the first half. I like the Indiana Pacers against the Sacramento Kings in the first half on the spread, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a recap of the games I've selected for you today. Game number one between the Chicago Bulls and the Toronto Raptors. We're smacking the Raptors first half. Game number two between the Oklahoma City Thunder and the Utah Jazz. We're smacking the Jazz first half. In our third and final game between the Indiana Pacers and the Sacramento Kings, we are smacking the Pacers on the spread first half. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is Nick Menken with Pick Dogs. If you have not done so, smack that like button. Helps me out a ton and it costs you guys none. And if you're looking for my premium picks, my lock of the day, check that description below. The link is there and I will see you guys tomorrow.